Uh, so this is ADFK City, and uh, this is the ADFK front, and this is looking really different right now. The front line is moving away. Uh, previously, it was always like that. You know, it was always a, uh, you know, yeah, something, some shapes, and uh, now it looks like a different shape. Yeah, deep analysis and insight from me from the DPA, and um, so the Russian forces are now attacking over at Bedaichi, Stepovy, Olivka, Tonenke. Uh, Povomaiske and Nevelske. Ukrainian counterattack is being reported over at Povomaiske and uh, Badaichi, I believe. I think there's nothing over the, on this side. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the Ukrainians are actually trying to hold out uh, the flanks, but they are not really doing much seemingly in the central part, which might suggest that uh, they are struggling. Uh, they are trying to get away from the from the kill zone. Uh, that might be the possibility, which is why the no counter attacks being reported, and um, there are also video footage coming out from this region here, showing uh, uh from the Russian Defense Ministry, in fact, of Ukrainian forces running away from Zhivane. Uh, so, and uh, they are very proud. They announced the capture of Zhivane, uh, in a separate report, in a video footage as well. So, uh, the Russians are now attacking Tonenke. We have no detailed information. Fighting is also at Olivka. Also, we don't have detailed information tentatively. So, we're going to get a surprise tomorrow. Suddenly, the front line is going to jump, uh, given the <laughs> our experience over here. Um, Povomaiske, nothing to talk about. There's some clashes. Uh, and uh, over in the northern part, uh, where northwest of the Tokok plant, where the Bove is, is interesting. Russian forces, uh, Ukrainian mapping have acknowledged the fall of Tepove. Joe location um, of the flag of the colors being raised or the in rather not raised but unfurled in the north uh, north southwestern um, part of the Stepove by a soldier clearly shows how safe it is for him to just stand like this, showing the Russians have secured full control over this region here. And the Joe location uh, also shows the Russian forces are pushing uh, in the south of Stepove. Looks like they are going to go down this tree line towards Semenivka and cut off uh, the communication route between Badaichi and the rest of the front line over at the southern part of Adyevka. So this push is imminent uh, towards Semenivka. I think Ukrainian forces right here is going to consider really hard. You know, should they run or should they fight? You no, know, it's going to be a very, very difficult decision. I mean, if I'm the Ukrainian soldier at the front line, and if I have access to the DPA's report, I will panic. <laughs> I will panic. So I would not sure if I even want to stay there to you know to to restand all the shelling. But running away also is dangerous. No FPV drone will hit me. Yeah, tough decision. So the fighting is now over at Badaichi. Ukrainians are counterattacking uh, in the direction of Petrovskoye over here. And um, so this is reported by the Russian Defense Ministry. However, uh, Russian, Ukraine and uh, Raiba all reported about the fighting at Badaichi already. So situation is definitely uh, uh, developing very quickly in this front line. Very, very interesting. And I'm holding on for a thumbnail. Yeah, so... Uh, that's if I remember about the thumbnail. So that's all for the ADF graph front.